Have, have you ever gone through something like this before? No, this is the first time. Um, as far as, you know, the, um, my, the leadership, mm -hmm. um, yes, it happened when I first was elected two years ago. You know, the strong arming and, you know, um, demanding my vote. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I could honestly admit, you know, that as a freshman, not knowing what I was getting myself into as far as voting mm -hmm. was concerned, I, I went along with the majority. And last year, I think I finally took a stand when it came to the reauthorization bill of SB 182. And finally said, you know, enough is enough. I'm not here for the leadership. I'm here on behalf of my constituents. Mm -hmm. Could you reiterate why you voted the way you did in the last couple of days? Why did you why you voted for HB 78? The reason why I voted for HB 78 is because we are having so many issues regarding illegal immigrants. I'm not saying and I'm not pinpointing and saying that you know they're I'm discrediting them. There are good good people that are trying hard to start a home here, to work here, but it's just a, the bad crop that's coming in with them. Drug trafficking, you know, we have a lot of, um, for an example, my relatives had vehicles that were stolen and they took them down to the border. And so it, it, to me, I feel that it's getting so out of control that we need to start thinking about our own constituents here in the United States. We have to start taking care of our people. And one of them is the Native Americans. We keep saying, you know, we're going to help this other country out, the other country out. Why aren't we taking care of our own people here? Let's address our problems here first before we start taking care of somebody out. Another country's, you know, um, um, their, their, the homelessness out in those areas. You know, the poor, the poverty. We have them here. Mm -hmm. And we need to take care of them here first. Um, you also said that, um, to my, um, I'm sorry, um, Representative Garcia said that he had gotten some negative emails. Yes. But you said you got some too. Yes, I did. I was very threatened by my own Democratic Party and saying that, you know, they're going to get me out because I chose to vote against my own Democrats. But it had nothing to do with being a Democrat or Republican, this was an issue that had an impact of all of us coming together. And I think that we need to keep in mind, we are not here to use our party, but we're here to try to work to compromise to get what is needed for the state of New Mexico and their needs. Because mm -hmm. I think that's what's missing. Mm -hmm. It's been missing, you know, that's why we can't accomplish nothing. Nothing is being done because we just can't seem to you know, deal with this bipartisan party and just work together. Maybe if we do that, mm -hmm. we can see results. Last question for you. Tell me exactly what happened with the Chief of Staff and the Speaker of the House the chief, yesterday. The Chief of Staff came up to me and Regis um, Pecos. Regis Pecos, the Speaker's Chief of Staff, and um, yelled at me and used some language that I don't even want to you know, bring out and asked why I'm doing this and why I'm going along with the Republican Party and that I'm making a fool out of myself. And I told him that he's being disrespectful and that that was really uncalled for. And he said on the floor yesterday you wanted an apology. Yes, and I never got that apology, and I reinforced that today again, and I never got the apology. Have you talked to Regis since then? No, I haven't. I get the impression I wouldn't want to cross you. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of surprised that uh, that uh, you haven't that, that there hasn't been some sort of effort to patch things up. But in your mind, is it over and done with, or do you, or does this still linger? No, I, I think that um, we have to. I'm I'm a, I'm a very professional um, individual, and I know how to separate you know um, confrontations like this. And so, you know, there, there will come a time where 
we do have to work together. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. I can't say, you know, just because he did this to me and I have nothing to do with him, I think that him and I, at one time, will actually sit down and he can share with me why, you know, he um, was very rude and so, you know, very disrespectful. Okay. Anything you want to say just to close up this crazy couple of days? You know, I think that um, it's about time as being a Native, Native American, being Navajo, I'm finally standing up to what I think, not necessarily what I think, but what needs to be addressed as far as being a voice for the Native Americans here in the state of New Mexico. Nobody has ever stood up for them. Nobody has ever defended them. And to me, I feel that this is a, a stepping stone, and there's going to be more of that. It's not about the majority. It's about us being individuals and how we're going to represent our people. Tedra Jeff, thank you very much. Thank you.